Alrighty, evening everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and welcome back to Berlin where we are doing the Ryanair Flight 3390 which takes us from Berlin to Bergamo in Italy. The flight is scheduled to depart at quarter past 10 and is scheduled to arrive at around midnight so it's a pretty late flight. I did say that I wanted to make some night flights in the 737 just to check out the entire interior lighting and all that stuff and this is the one that we're doing. Now, I know I said I only wanted to do night flights between vanilla airports in X-Plane, but the BER, as you can see, is not a vanilla airport. This is the scenery from LimeSim. If you want to know more about this, you have to check out my first flight sim video, the one where I go from Berlin to Paris in a night flight. In that video, I talk about the EDDB LimeSim scenery in more detail. And I also grabbed the scenery for the Bergamo uh, airport. So we're going to check this one out. So it's now a quarter to 10. So let's get on board and get started with the preparations. Then let's start the APU, turn on the beacon light. Okay, there is the APU bus. Then let's go on the APU bus here, go on the APU generator here. Turn the external power off. Release the ground power. And then put on these guys on these guys put on these guys put on these guys we don't need them right now but we will okay then let's quest pushback ah okay then let's start engine number one Oh, 
Why is the layout different? Okay, that's one good engine start, and let's start engine number two. In two rotation. I don't know why the layout is suddenly all different. It was different last time. That sounded like the second engine generator. Good. Good, good. Then that's the second engine generator. And then let's go. The engine generator here. Only engine generator here. Turn the APU off. Turn APU bleed off. Now I have to auto packs to auto. Auto bar on. Okay, taxi light on, and return light on, but we need these guys. Oh, look, snow. Wow. No, no, we need the entire ice. Ah, right. Okay, audio for the auto brake. Flight control check. Um hey? Good that 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 worked so this looks different now and this worked last time. Something is different. Was there an update to the seven three seven? Yeah, got a switch there. Hold please. Yes, thank you. But I still do not have any flag control check. Okay. They don't do anything unlike, uh, unlike in the Phoenix, where they actually clean the window. Okay, then let's see. And da -dun -da -dun. Okay, then um Ah. Okay, then let's start the clock. And then I say...
forty percent stabilized. Then two, yeah. Grass checked. Rotate. We there was something strange. Gear up. Okay. Um. Wow. Flaps up. And if we have the stars oh right back to standard okay above 10,000 feet let's This is in and then 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 Maybe we should turn the entire ice off now. Okay, at the cruise altitude, let's see how far. Yeah, we got some time. Enough time to have a look at the cabin at night. So let's do that. I don't see anything. Ah, ooh, cool. Wow. Okay, so that's the cabin at night. Absolutely worth a night flight, I say. Wow. Okay. Okay, we are closing in on top of the sand. Let's do some landing preparations. Uh, ba -bum. Okay, our ILS frequency is 108.7. So let's know here. Put this in here. Nav 
108.7 that looks good and then we need we want to do a flips 40 landing 139 so that's 40 139 this goes in here runway elevation is not here course length 2874 meters okay for the elevation we have to look runway elevation runway length 3000 what was it 2874 ah uh, clear 2874 and runway elevation is let's look at the navigraph charts runway elevation is 782 782 runway elevation okay there 3500 okay and there it is we descending we seven six eight thirteen thousand oh Lucille there's a D cell oh what there's a D cell that can't be true this is way too early You see uh, three or seven sixteen. Ah, look at northern Italy, it's one big sea of light. Okay, then let's dial in the course to a two. Approaching D cell now to forty. Oh, the D cell is there now, okay. And diesel. Now we're going down. Flaps one. Okay. Okay, flaps two. Flaps five. Gear down. Okay, flaps ten. 
220, me 264. I think it's chasing the wrong speed. There's a diesel. What? Oh, shit. Now the diesel is there. Already got the gear down, already been to flaps 10. It's too early. Ah, oh, crap. Then try to capture the localizer. It's unfortunately everything is way too early. Ah, there's runway. What do you know? Okay, let's arm the approach. Okay, now we are on the glide slope. Let's see how this goes. Manual braking. Wow. That, ladies and gentlemen, was one successful Autoland. Welcome to Bergamo. Huh. What do you say to that? Nice. Very, very nice. Huh. Okay. Cool. I like. Yes, we are off the autopilot. Let's turn this thing off. Bring the flaps in. And let's turn on dome light because I don't see anything here. Taxi light on, no turn on landing light off. Logo no logo can stay on. Position goes to steady and position system this goes off. And then let's see if we can find a free space. And then let's deplane. What we need is stairs. We need a bus. First the loader. Turn 
Turn off the seatbelt signs. Target zero. The plane. And then request the cards. Oh. Let's turn off the beacon light. Unload. And then passengers get off and cargo is unloaded. Okay. And while all that is happening, why don't we have a look at this scenery? Okay, no, I told you that this is also a um, scenery, that this is... And this is made by someone called um, Tailstrike, I think. Tailstrike Designs. And wow, it is really good. I mean, like, let's increase the drone speed a bit. Uh, this looks really cool. Uh, is this a Disney? <laughs> wow, cool. Okay, this is an exceptionally nice airport. Aria Center, that looks that looks really good. This looks good. Oh, there's another par car park. This is probably part of the scenery. And then, wow, look at that. There are even people in there. Oh, and now I have to reduce my drone speed again. Oha. Okay, nice. Polished wood? What do you know? No way. <laughs> Duty free. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever driven in Italy, um, but <laughs> yes, this is a familiar this is a familiar sign. Telepass, you don't have to wait at the toll station. You can just drive through with your, um, if you have some radio, RFID or whatever thing. Restaurant Bistro. Okay, cool. Huh. These are the same people that always sit in the LVFR A319s and A321s. Oui. That's not where I want to go. But yeah, very, very nice airport. Very nice airport. Not really sure if it's worth the money though, but definitely like it. Huh. Cool thing. Nice tower. Wow, was this? And now I need to increase the drone speed again. What is over there? DHL cargo. There are cargo um, liveries at least 4737. Maybe we can do a cargo flight once. This is something that I would want to do. How does the, the boarding go? Um, this is all empty. Okay, then. We're done here. So all the passengers are out. Now, yeah, that was a very, very nice flight. And this is a very, very nice scenery. Um, yeah, and what do you know? It was a very successful auto land. And that's also possible in the 737, at least in the PMDG. I never tried that in the Zebo. Should probably do that sometime. It was a very nice flight. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed the PMDG 737 very much. Yes, yeah, so good night. And I see you in the next one. And until then, take care and uh, tschüss. Ne?